Well, it's quite simple. Um, rather than beating around the bush, I'm going to get right to the point. Shall not be infringed. I don't know about you, but when I hear shall not be infringed, I hear that there should be no regulation and that we should have open ability for U.S. citizens to have their God-given rights to keep and bear arms. No reason needed. Not necessarily about defending your family, not just about defending against tyranny. It is your God-given right to keep and bear arms to defend yourself for whatever reason needed. We have situations here in New Hampshire. If you're down by the southern border, we are very gun-friendly in this state, but Massachusetts, not so much. You could be accused of a felony if you cross the wrong side of a parking lot down south because Massachusetts bans certain guns that are legal here in New Hampshire. Massachusetts has a very draconian system to be able to keep and bear arms and conceal carry down south. We absolutely need to ensure that Americans who are enjoying their God-given rights are protected throughout the nation. I myself, very big on Second Amendment. It's not too hard to do that here in New Hampshire because we have some very understanding and protecting the Constitution laws about that here in this state. However, I do just want to ask a question of one of the other candidates. I, it could just be me, but it seemed that Lynn Blankenbecker seemed to say that other people come to New Hampshire to purchase firearms because they don't have to pay taxes and they don't have to adhere to the regulations that their own home states have on firearms. I'm curious if she really does think that is the case because the law is handguns, you need to buy in your home state. Long guns, if you buy a long gun, it needs to be legal the state you're purchasing as well as the state that you reside in. No, Eli, I didn't. Thank you for that. No, Eli, I didn't say that. I said um, it could set up a situation, and I don't want to set up a situation like that. Maybe I misheard, but I thought you said there's a people coming over to buy guns that don't require the taxes and also do not have to adhere to the regulations of their home state. Right. Well, I said it would set up a situation. All right, thank you very much. At this point, we're going to take a very, very quick five-minute intermission. So feel free to get up, stretch your legs. If you have any questions, very quickly for the candidates, we will resume in five minutes. Thank you.